Hey there, Coach Nate here. Just wanted to talk to you about one of the main ways I see people getting too much of this type of food that's exacerbating their belly fat. Okay, so what we're gonna be talking about today is carbohydrates, specifically sugars. Okay, so you can see on the countertop I here I have with me ketchup, white rice, bananas, some uh, Dave's Killer Bread over here, some maple syrup, these little pita, pita chips, and then some grapefruit juice, okay? And a lot of people wouldn't say, oh, the, the white rice, that's a sugar. But what happens when you break down a carbohydrate in your body, it turns into glycogen. Glycogen just means blood sugar, okay? What happens is the first, your muscle absorbs the, as much as it possibly can. So that's based on how much muscle you have, how much skeletal muscle you have, um, and then how much you've been using it. So have you been burning off your existing muscle glycogen? And do you need to replenish it? If so, that means your body can take and handle more sugar without any sort of repercussions. If you don't have very much muscle, fi muscle fiber, or if you haven't been very active, the, the less you need of sugary substrates like this, okay? So what that means is you probably need to be building more muscle, you need to be working out a little bit more, or at least getting some more exercise. And then you also need to be following that up by not eating as much of this type of, this type of food because this is energy. This is all you need is this energy. And for most of us, we're working at desk jobs. We're, we're getting an hour of exercise per day tops. So you don't need a ton of energy to fuel your body in that. So the other thing is like something like ketchup, this has four grams of sugar in it. And you're like, oh, that's not very much. This is for a tablespoon, okay? So be careful. Even though it says, oh, it's made of organic sh uh, cane sugar, it doesn't matter. It's, it's sugar, sugar, all right? Same with this. This is this. It doesn't say sugar, and it says organic date solids. Still sugar. Okay. So what we need to be doing is making sure that you're absorbing less of these types of foods, and you're absorbing them with the right type of food. So this is especially exacerbated when you have when you're eating a fat and a and a high sugar food like this together, but can be minimized when you're eating a carbohydrate and a protein together. So make sure you're eating the right foods at the right times and avoiding these high energy snacks like this. So. Um, just making sure that when you are eating, you're trying to eat the right way. So essentially kind of according to the glycogen priming method, we're eating a protein and a fat in the morning, maximize our productivity, maximize our focus, eating a protein and a vegetable at lunch. And then we're saving up our carbohydrates for the evening when we can refuel, replenish that glycogen storage, and then use that to propel us into a great sleep and energy for the rest of the day. So Coach Nate here, just wanted to give you a few tips on how to minimize your sugar consumption um, and how to get the best results for your body and your brain. Talk to you soon. Put any, put any uh, questions you have in the comments here. We'll talk soon.